Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Today's flight is with the EFS Labs A319 EasyJet service from Tega, which is Berlin, over to uh, well, Warsaw in Poland. And uh, yeah, this flight will be about 51 hour, 51 hour, wow, <laughs> 51 minute uh, flight time. So um, relatively short flight. And I wanted to make this video. I was thinking of if I should do it or not, but yes, I wanted to do it because Thank you guys so much for 300 subscribers. Incredible. I did not expect to reach it, and by the time this video is up, we're probably already 10 or 20 subscribers higher than that, which is absolutely insane. And I uh, just want to thank everybody for the support, and uh, I'm looking forward to the uh, next couple of months of doing these, this content. Now, I will admit I haven't been very active. Uh, I, have, I have been active since COVID began, but now lately it's been dropping down a little bit. And uh, that's obviously because um, some time, not necessarily time constraints, but a lack of uh, a lack of interest. Um, if, you, if you guys know me a little bit, I do have s certain phases where I'm super interested in one thing, but then I, I'm so interested in it that I do do that pretty much all the time, and then eventually I get bored of it. And that's kind of how I am. It's kind of like if you're if you know like if you like a new song. And you just listen to it pretty much on repeat for the next two days and then all of a sudden you can't listen to it ever again that's kind of how i am with certain things um i'm lucky that flight sim has been a part of my hobby for about 11 years now 11 12 years um, but there's still some phases where i like to do other things like pretty much 24 7 until i kind of get bored of that and then i go back to something else or maybe even flight sim that's kind of how it was with flight sim i did that pretty much since covid began pretty much did 24-7 flights and didn't do anything else and now I'm so starting to want to do different things but it doesn't mean I won't won't stop uploading it's just I'll upload a little less frequently that's it um, but I hope that's okay for you guys other thing um, is discord to, to be able to join my discord server just simply select one of the latest videos head down to the description and select the discord link within Head over to Discord and you'll be able to see the new users tab where you need to read the rules and just simply select the check mark. Once done so, go ahead to sign in here and select the aircraft icon letting me know that you came from my YouTube channel watching flights and videos. You'll see that a bunch of uh, text as well as voice channels have been unlocked for you guys where you can simply write to people, upload screenshots, and also get up notified as soon as I upload a video. There's also a neat le leveling system that I've integrated where the more you write or upload photos or pictures, you'll be leveled up to certain classes within the cabin. So join the Discord server and I'm looking forward to flying with you guys. All right, so here we are with the load sheet at eight minutes and um, we're gonna go and accept that. And we're going to enter the updated values in here. 54.3. Nice uh, zero fuel weight center of gravity. On 31.8. Go and put it in there. And our block fuel is 5.1. Pretty close. At least. Now we're going to keep this up. Yep. And we're going to go to performance request. Departure echo dot. Delta Delta Tango, runway runway eight left. Anti snow packs off. Yes. Temperature is. I'm gonna put two three and Q and H. We're gonna put one zero, one four. Logano takeoff config. Use flaps one plus F. Fifty nine three. And um, 311. Send that information off. And we will wait here. And close our window. Can start to we can start the APU in a second here.
Right there it already is. Whoa. Five and twenty six and one thirty two. Flex temperature is, 50, is that fifty six? No, that's sixty six. All right, we'll go and update that information here. Flex temp is sixty six, one twenty five, one twenty six, and one thirty two. I also would like to say that um, I've been working on some some things uh, for the channel. Um, Particularly, I want to remaster or redo the uh, FS Labs FS The Crew tutorials, and I'm also planning to do all other kinds of tutorials for FS The Crew. Um, yeah, um, I'm working on pretty in depth. Um, it's gonna be pretty much what my last video was for the FS The Crew, only of course edited and a lot more information, so uh, de-icing procedures, single engine taxi, um, starting at the ramp, so starting with uh, pneumonic air instead of, well obviously with pneumonic air, but not starting with the APU, so starting it with uh, a air cart, etc, etc. So it's going to be more depth. When that's going to come out, I don't know, but I've recorded already like 90% of the information or stuff, and uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, hopefully give you guys a better tutorial. I'm planning on doing it at one part tutorial, so it's going to be probably like one to two hours long, which we'll see, because um, I think that might be discouraging for some people, I uh, might make it a multi-part, but we'll see. So performance is completed and entered, and uh, we're pretty much ready to go. APU is now started, so APU can come on, external power can come off, and um, cam crew, arm size, and cross check. We'll go ahead and do that, and uh, yeah. Before start checklist. Cockpit prep. Completed. Completed. Gear pins and covers. Removed. Signs. Hey on guys, auto. all parks are on board. Are we clear to close? Yes. Adiers. Thanks. Let me know if you need anything. Nav. Fuel quantity. 5.1 tons set. Takeoff data. Set. Barrel ref. One zero one five set. One zero one five set. Down to the line. No, so, doors are armed. Beacon can come on. Thrust servers are idle. Point and brake on. Acupressure is in the green. And our the windows are closed with the red tag. All right. And shocks are removed. I already call for a. Oops, sorry for that. I already call for uh, pushback, user find, and uh... Go ahead, flight deck. In fact, I actually want to disable... That Go waypoint. ahead, cockpit. Waypoint. And add waypoint. Okay. And we're gonna go ahead and exit, edit. Use this current route for pushback. Save. Yes. Yes. And ignore the livery. I know it's wrong. <laughs> um, I misinstalled it, but that's okay. I'll, I'll fix it later on. Also, some people have been asking about prepared version 5 and what my view on it is. I think it's great. I already bought it. I think it's absolutely stunning. Um, however, I will not use it. There's some issues with it, but I will not use it until um, pretty much most of my add-ons, or most of the add-ons that I have are functional with prepared version 5, at least officially. Um, I don't want to have to manually install it. Um, Please confirm that the brakes are set. Communications are okay and the brakes are set. Yeah, that's my, that's my view on it. Below the line. Windows and doors. Closed. Closed. Beacon. On. Thrust levers. Idle. Parking brake. On. Before start checklist complete.
Understood. Facing. Northwest. Release the brakes, please. Brakes released. Okay, commencing pushback. Yeah, so for those who are asking for prepared version 5, I will make videos as soon as uh, I am happy with the state of where it is at with the add ons. I need Active Sky, I need it. Um, and I need to have most airports as well as aircraft. So, FS screw is not a must, but I prefer it. So, I mean, that's a, that's one of the main reasons why I'm in prepared for one, the add ons, and for two, FS crew, honestly. <laughs> um, All ground equipment yeah. is clear, you can start the engines at your discretion. Starting engine two. Starting engine one. The push is complete. Please set the brakes. Brakes are set. Understood. Disconnected and pin is out and equipment is clear. You can disconnect and go to hand signals. Thanks till next time and have a good flight. Okay, there's definitely a texture issue here. Definitely need to sort Understood, have a nice flight. Understood, have a nice flight. After start checklist. Anti-ice. Off. Ecom status. Checked. Pitch trim. Set and checked. Rudder trim. Zero. After start checklist complete. Clear left side. Clear right side. Approach path clear of traffic. Cabin crew be seated for takeoff. Packs are off. Low the line. Takeoff runway. Confirmed. Confirmed. Cabin crew. Advised. TCAS. EARA. Engine mode selector. Normal. Packs. Off. Before takeoff checklist complete. Ready? A firm. Take off. And 
flex SRS runway auto thrust blue. Thrust set checked. One hundred knots. Thank you. V rotate. Positive climb. Gear up. Gear up. But notice that we that the rotation wasn't very smooth, so I'm assuming that I did something wrong with the takeoff performance calculations. And so I'm gonna verify that again just to make sure. And uh, yeah, we'll see that in a second. Packs are on. Flaps zero. Speed checked. Flaps zero. After takeoff climb checklist. Landing gear. Up. Up. Titan checked. Flaps. Retracted. Packs. On. Down to the line. Below the line. Barrow ref. Standard set. Standard set. After takeoff, climb checklist complete. Let me just check here. Um, AOC. See if messages performance. So. Should say what I put in. 59.3. Load sheet. It is. Interesting. Our rotation was really off. Didn't seem like it wanted to climb. As if it had like airfoil interruptions. 9.3. Interesting. Alright, maybe it was just me. feet. Go ahead and uh, get ourselves a little bit comfortable here. Confirm seatbelts off. Confirm. Confirm clear at nav. Negative. Confirm copy active to secondary. Negative. Cruise flight level is as shown. Optimum flight level is as shown. Recommended flight level is as shown. Are you happy with our current selected flight level? Yes. Okay. That's it for now, so we'll see you guys on the approach.
guys welcome back sending on to 10,000 I decided to start a little earlier because I want to talk about about prepared version 5 a little bit more and some things that I wish they would fix or uh, change and one thing that I think x -Plane does really really well um, compared to prepared is loading scenery um, for one I, th I really wish that prepared even though this would pretty much negate all of um, scenery add-ons at least from Orbex those global uh, textures and things like that. Um, I do think having this step forward would have been much better, and that is to have real-world OSM data. Um, I think prepared. Or I wish prepared version five would have had that. Oh, every road you see, every building you see would be one to one um, to the real world, and uh, fortunately, didn't do that. That that would have been one other step that would have made prepared. Um, compete with um, Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Um, so, um, yeah, I do think that's unfortunate that they haven't done that yet. I do think it's really important for them to do that eventually. Um, I don't think they need to go to, into the details of MS 2020, because obviously they also have um, their own issues that they'll need to fight eventually. Um, for example, you, you need to stream the data to be able to have from real world information. Whereas I explained, it's all downloaded, so it's just basically a library of different buildings. And if you look at some third-party add-ons, such as uh, Short Final Designs, also um, having such a global um, texture pack, you can see that that is well enough to satisfy most people. In fact, me too. Um, so, I, I don't know. It's I think Prepared needs to do something like x -Fane does um, with scenery. And then also... I think when what x -Men also does pretty well is when you fly into uh, multiple regions, especially at certain speeds, you'll see that scenery starts loading in at a certain radius. Uh, you'll just see it pop up, whereas x -Men does a really good job where it, uh, scenery, here you can see it very well, where um, x -Men does a really good job where it doesn't pop it in right away. Where it, What it does, it makes uh, increases its visibility over time. So scenery is loaded probably this radius, I think it explains even further a little bit, but at this radius, or this diameter, or circumference, so to say, um, the scenery is pretty much invisible. And the closer you get, the more visible it gets, which makes it seem, doesn't look like it's popping in, it just looks like it's it's there, it's, and it always has been, which is a great feature that X-Men does. I don't know if you guys would know what I mean, um, but not scenery popping, but more like slowly fading in. Uh, that's also a nice feature that I think shouldn't have eventually. Obviously we know that DirectX 12 has an issue currently um, where this ex where uh, prepared crashes. Um, yeah, we're prepared crashes because of scenery issues. Um, I'm sure they'll get that fixed eventually but for now it's not fixed so that's quite unfortunate. And uh, yeah, definitely something they need to look into as soon as possible. Also, another reason why I'm staying back from prepared for now, or at least for version 5 for now. Um, so yeah. Approach checklist. Briefing. Confirmed. Ecom status. Checked. Seatbelts. On. Are you sure about that? Barrel okay. ref. Standard set. Set and checked. Minimum. 557 five, feet set. Seven, nine, four, feet set, engine mode selector. Normal. Approach checklist complete. Alright, so. Decrease or descent rates. Um, I think I think um, prepared version five, at least for me, looks really good. Um, I'm happy with prepared version four, but I was hoping that prepared version five would take 
multiple more years uh, until it's released. Um, but of course, that's not the case. It already has been, I think, two or three years since prepared version four release. Um, um, yeah. I also wish prepared had the update cycle of X-Plane 12. Uh, X-Plane 12, what I'm saying. X-Plane. Because um, X-Plane 11 already existed for about three, four years now. Or even more, maybe? Even five years, I think? I need to look at that. I need to look at that. But uh, X-Plane doesn't care about, okay, we need to bring a huge update and then make them pay for it again. Especially $200. $200? Are you kidding me? It's insane. So, yeah, I don't know. Um, obviously, I pay the academic license, which I am qualified for because I do go to school technically still. So, yeah. Um, but I don't know. I think prepared is overpriced for what they always change. I don't think they change enough to make it overpriced. Especially what X-Wing does, it's insane. But, as we know, the FSX uh, community or FSX uh, market doesn't care and they know they can get away with all kinds of prices. Which is what we see with Captain Sim uh, feel there. Uh, all kinds of add-ons that were like, what the hell, why are you so expensive? Or in a product that is even that great. Which, by the way, I did buy the field there, version 3. did buy it. Um, and so we'll be flying it eventually as well. Yeah. <laughs> so. I thought it would be nice to have an Embraer in prepared. I have the uh, SSG Embraer's and X-Plane. I'm, I'm kind of, I'm kind of convinced staying with prepared for now. So, no explain for a little while. What's our speed restrictions at? We're gonna keep it at two two zero. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and turn left. Yep, that's the cabin secure for landing. See you in the ground, bye. Okay, so our missed approach altitude is 3000 as well, it looks like. Nope, never mind. Yes, it is 3000. Alright. Let me keep it as is. We're going to go on the approach. I'll call it 2. Flaps 1. Speed checked. Flaps 1.
passing final approach fix. Three, zero, zero, zero feet. You're down. Gear down. Radio altimeter alive. Lamps two. Speed checked. Flaps two. Flaps three. Speed checked. Flaps three. Cabin crew be seated for landing. Landing checklist. Cabin crew advised. Auto thrust. Speed. Auto brake. Medium. B cam memo. Landing no blue. Landing checklist complete. Glide. Five hundred. Four hundred. Land. Checked. Three hundred. Hundred above. Two hundred. Minimum. Landing. Checked. One hundred. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Retard. Ten. Five. Spoilers. Reverse green, D cell. Seventeen knots.
can just ignore the livery. Um, yeah. Alright, so. We are here. Captain Kuru just on slides to cross check. Landing rate was 188. Parking checklist. APU bleed. On. Engines. Off. Seat belts. Off. Exterior lights. Off. Fuel pumps. Off. Parking brake and chocks. On and in. Parking checklist complete. Alright guys, that is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed and thanks again for 300 subscribers. Looking forward to the next couple months. And uh, yeah, if you guys have any suggestions or any flight requests, let me know. And don't forget to join my Discord. I will not make that Discord video or Disco Discord thing uh, in the beginning of the video anymore. It will be at the end. But yeah. Alright guys. Till later. Bye.